Hello Tubesters, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, this one might be very slightly longer. Uh, it turns out that because I'm shooting what I thought was short videos on my normal video camera, it doesn't seem to be appearing in any short format. So, what was I doing? What was I bothering? Uh, anyway, keeping them short. This is, you see, I just want to show you how it's been blended in with stippling and the first few glazes and this is it on the other side. It was mainly just to show you what can be achieved. Sorry if you hear panting or whatever, that's, that's Arch. As I say, he's, he's a, not very well at the moment. Uh, so we're, we're getting there, covering all these darker areas up. I just wanted to show you that really before I did the whole picture. Now this is really just a base, a base layer. We're getting all, all the tones, all the, the main tones on here. Uh, but what I'll be doing then is um, putting other other colours in there just to obviously give it a more realistic uh, appearance. So we've got to, although we're covering those reds up, there'll be some reds going in there, maybe some purples. I uh, I really don't know. I, I I really just go with the flow, really how I feel. Uh, probably some English uniform uh, around the stubble areas. He's heavily stubbled in in this film, so uh, we'll go with that. Don't worry if you see any bits of grey showing through primer. This was I've just again put a base coat down for, of one coat just to see where the hairline was and everything. Uh, but yeah, stippling. So uh, I'm using a 10-0, which main large-scale painters will laugh at because it's literally about this size. Or this one's worn down. Uh, you can use obviously a one or a two or whatever. Uh, I'm, I'm just so used to using small brushes I, for doing stippling and that I like that. You need a a sharp point which will destroy your brush unfortunately over over time when you're stippling and then we'll be putting some glazes over the stipples uh, stipples will give you a bit of texture it also makes it a bit more refined between between the um, uh, the different paint areas uh, there's a uh, you'll see a lot of texture in his cheek there showing up that's because it's molded with texture because they've obviously got stubble on there so I'll be reintroducing all that uh, once I've I've got this whole area, with, you know, we're starting to creep up the hairline up here now. Um, so same colours as before. So there's no point in me writing anything in the description. Uh, I will say when you're following a film character, it's really hard because I'm doing all this, all this work to then cover him up with some grease spots, and there'll be some cuts and some like he's got it on his left temple. He'll have a, a red bruise that. It was quite prominent in the stills I'm looking at. So you're putting a lot of effort in to cover it up, but in my own opinion, there's no other way of doing it really. If I've tried to put the grease spots in and then you just try and paint flesh around, it'll just look ridiculous. So uh, a lot of this, um, like the yellowy areas, I'm trying to point, I can't even see behind the camera. These here, these are all gonna be altered. I've just artificially lightening them up at the moment, uh, just so I can see the areas I want to apply um, different colours to, but I really do. Uh, see, there's like a small thing there. He's got. I think they've got some little marks uh, sculpted into the original. So uh, yeah, um, just want to show you that and just show what's possible. Uh, it, it is a it is a, a fairly straightforward technique. If you if you want to do a bust, I've got a German Panzer Grenadier bust in one ten scale coming up. After I've done another head, I've got a. Uh, I'm going to do a under under camera, but literally condense it down. I've got a Han Solo head to do as well, but um, and I will show stippling and everything on that one. But I just wanted to show you what you can achieve uh, with this underpainting technique. It'll give you. So I mean, I'm not sure what the, the camera's picking up here with the light, but um, you will you will see the different colours shown just slightly underneath. Uh, under his chin and that I'm still working on that as you can see but that's stippling you see all those little marks that's that's me stippling away and stippling different colors in obviously under his nose and everything's still got to be done yet uh, I I prefer some people like to do the eyes first but I prefer to get the all of the main colors in first and then do the eyes and then start doing all the little glazings of the different other colors in so uh, thank you very much thought I'd just take the time on this one as it's not showing up as short so what you know what's the difference <laughs> so uh, it's just a shorter video off me but I did want to just explain as best I could how this underpainting method works 
Um, as you can see, we're around the ear and, and stuff, we've still got the cheekbones, we've still got all that to do. Uh, but it gives you, as you can see here, you can just see the colours. So right, I'm having to keep trying to find where I am on the viewfinder. You just see the darker colours under there. Obviously, all this has got to be worked on still. Uh, so a load of time to go. Uh, the fact that there's guys that do what I would call the factory style of paint job, which is very wet paint, very thin, and then flicking other colours to just just put random dots on to replicate uh, blemishes in the skin and that. Uh, I just I paint them how I paint my busts, uh, whether that's right or wrong. I'm not really bothered. It's it's just how I enjoy doing it. But I just thought it's a good way of showing you guys that might want to have a go, but are a bit, you know, how do you start? How where do you go? Uh, if you were doing a bust, um, you know, where do you start? It's just exactly the same technique. And I say when I get to finally get round to my German Panzer Grenadier uh, bust, um, you know, it'll be the same stuff again. Thanks a lot for taking a look. I uh, hope all is going well with your projects and we'll catch each other soon on another video.